Strategies. In this session, we will learn how to work with input and output variables in Power Automate for desktop. In all our previous videos, while working with actions, we have stored the data in the flow variables which are available in variables span. Now, in this session, we will learn about input and output variables. All right. First, we will learn the main purpose of input and output variables. The main purpose of input and output variables is to exchange data between cloud and desktop flows through the input and output variables to expand automation capabilities between these cloud flows. All right. How can we go ahead and we can add input variables? Inside my variable span, there you can see I'm having a section called input or output variables. As of now, if you see, there are no input and output variables are available right now. To add a new input and output variable, I'm going to click on plus icon. And then I'm going to select input or output based on our requirement. Now, I'm going to add an input variable by clicking on input. Now, if you see the description of the new input variable, the description says add a new variable to use as input or output. All right. Now, if you see the parameters over here, the first parameter is the variable name. What is the name that you are going to give it for this input variable to use across the desktop flow? All right. Now, I'm going to simply say it as name over here. And the second parameter you can see is the data type. What are the data types are available inside the Power Automate desktop? There you can see for the input variables, I'm having data type as text, number, boolean, custom object, list, and data table. Now, based on my requirement, I will say the variable name as text. I want to store the name over here in the text format. All right. And the third parameter is the, the default value. What is the default value over here? The default value when the flows run through the desktop flow designer, in that case, if you want to give some default value over here, in that case, I'm going to give it as the default value I'm going to specify in this area. So for an example, if I'm going to work as an employee, so I'm going to give default name. I'm just going to mention the value as default name. And now, if you see the another parameter is the external name. What is this external name? This external name is the name that appears in the cloud flow designer. So which is totally different from the variable name. The variable name will come inside my desktop flow, whereas external name will appear in the cloud flow. So that what is the name I'm going to mentioning over here? I'm going to mention it as desktop underscore is the name I'm going to mention to identify at the cloud side. Okay, and the description, I'm going to simply say, employee name as the description and then another parameter is the mark as sensitive inside the variable name that is name if you're going to give any value at the sensitive value such as passwords email ids if you want to mark it as sensitive in this case you're going to enable this toggle by using mark as sensitive right now this name is not sensitive so that i'm not going to be enabling this now, the last parameter is the mark as optional. What does this mean? Mark as optional means whenever you are going to pass this variable from the cloud flow and it is not mandatory, in this case, you are going to make it as optional by toggling this one. But right now, to make you understand, I'm going to make it as mandatory over here. All right. For this input variable, I'm not going to have any kind of flow variables as an output. All right whatever the input variable that I have it will be stored inside my text and it will store the values all right let me click on save now whatever the values have been passed to the input variable from the cloud flow i have to display over here in this desktop flow to display that i'm going to use the message boxes over here let me drag and drop this display message action onto the workspace now if you see over here for the display message i'm going to give message title over here as display name from cloud so what is the message to display i'm going to take it i'm going to select the variable over here that is input variable right let me click on the variables there you can say insert my input and output variables i'm having name over here let me select that and the remaining parameters i'm going to keep it as it is and then i'm going to click on save now this is one part of the input variables 
Now for this input variable, where we'll get the data that will be coming from the cloud flows, right? Now I have switched to the browser and then I have navigated to make.powerautomate.com and there I have created a instant cloud flow that is whenever we are going to manually trigger a flow, this flow will run. We have created a desktop flow with the name of input and output variables in Power Automate for desktop, right? Now I have to run that desktop flow by using the action called run a flow built with a Power Automate for desktop. How can we go ahead and do that? I'm going to click on plus icon in my instant cloud flow and then I'm going to click on add an action. Now I'm going to search for the action that is to run the desktop flow with the name of desktop flow. There you can see I'm having a connector for the desktop flows. Run a flow with Power Automate for desktop. I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to create a new connection reference over here. What is the first parameter for the creating a connection with Power Automate for desktop? I'm going to give the connection name over here as PAD desktop flow. Now the second parameter is that how you want to connect to this machine or machine group. There are two options are available. One is that connect with username and password. Another one, connect with sign in attended. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give connect with username and password. Now the third parameter is that you want to select the machine or machine group. Let me drop down that to select an item. There you can see I am having my desktop over here with the desktop hyphen HDS RSE 8 is my desktop. I'm going to select that. Now. To connect to with this desktop, I have to give my username and password. Now, once you have provided all these details, it will ask to create a new connection to run our desktop flows from the cloud. Let me click on create. Now, if you observe over here, this action has connected to the connection reference that is Power Automate desktop, desktop flow is the connection reference. Now, at the first parameter for this action, I'm going to select the desktop flow. What is the name of the desktop flow? There we are having input and output variables, right? Let me drop down that. There you can see I'm having the desktop flow with the name of input and output variables. Let me select that. Once you have selected the desktop flow, there you can see you will get the parameter over here that is input variable, right? I have to give the employee name. This is the description which it will be displayed at the cloud side, right? This is the name which we have given. Let me go back once again for the desktop flow and there you can see I'm having input and output variables, right? I'm going to click on the name and then I'm going to click on edit. There you can see what is the external name that is desktop underscore name, which it will display at the cloud side, right? The same name is displayed over here in the cloud flow, right? I'm going to give the employee name over here to make you understand. I'm going to give it as hello world. Now, if you see the second parameter, run mode, there are two modes are available. There you can see I'm having two modes. One is attended, another one is unattended. What is attended? Attended means whenever we are signed in into the desktop flow, in that case only it will run. Whereas unattended means it will run the desktop flow when we are signed out, right? Right now I'm going to select attended and then I'm going to click on save. Now our cloud flow is ready to run the desktop flow with input parameters that is with the name of input and output variables which we have given. All right, let's run the cloud flow by clicking on test. I'm going to select the test flow as manually and then I'm going to click on test. Now to run this cloud flow inside my desktop flow there, you can see this flow uses the following apps. A green check means you are ready to go. Now the desktop flow has been signed in successfully. There you can see the green mark. Let's click on continue. And then I'm going to click on run flow. And then I'm going to click on done. Cloud flow execution started. There you can see it is trying to run a flow with Power Automate for desktop. The cloud flow has run successfully. There I got a pop-up window from the desktop flow that is display name. And the output is hello world. All right, to edit the existing input variables, what I will do, I will go for the input and output variables span. And there I'm going to click on more commands by selecting input variable and then I'm going to click on edit. Now by 
clicking on edit input variable you can change the variable parameters which are already available such as if you want to change the variable name or the data type or external name or the description or any other parameters which are available in the input variable you can go ahead and you can change it all right let me click on cancel i hope you understand how to exchange the data between the cloud and the desktop flow by using input variables as part of this tutorial.